hello guys welcome and welcome back to Rika's kitchen today I'll be showing you how to make this soft and easy Swiss roll cake using a frying pan if you haven't subscribed to my channel please please kindly do so you don't get to miss any of my videos each and every week then stay tuned and enjoy my recipe on today's ingredients you're going to need one cup of self-rising flour this is the flour that contains baking powder already. You're going to need 125 grams. Icing sugar approximately a half a cup. One tablespoon of lime or lemon juice. One teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Three medium eggs. One tablespoon of cocoa powder. And lastly, don't forget, you're also going to need a half a cup of milk. On a medium-large bowl, start by adding one egg at a time. Then mix the eggs for approximately 2 to 3 minutes till well combined. Followed by a half a cup of icing sugar and continue mixing for approximately another 3 minutes. Afterwards, you're going to pour 1 tablespoon of lime or lemon juice, then followed by 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract and give a quick mix. Using a medium sieve like this, you're going to add 1 cup of self-rising flour plus 1 teaspoon of baking soda and sieve it slowly into the bowl and take a spatula or a wooden spoon and mix everything well and nice till well combined. Lastly, don't forget to pour a half a cup of milk. Pour slowly by slowly while mixing till everything is well mixed. Once you're done pouring the milk, your cake mixture has to look like this and your mixture is ready. Afterwards, I'm going to divide into two portions so I can have a chocolate Swiss roll and a vanilla Swiss roll. Then afterwards, from one of the portions, I'm going to add 1 tablespoon of cocoa powder and fold it very well and nice into a thin, light mixture. And my two cake mixtures are ready as you can see in the video and it's high time to bake them on a frying pan. Place your nonstick pan on a medium heat and add one teaspoon of butter and let it melt before pouring the cake mixture. Once the pan is hot, add the butter into the pan and twist the pan so that the butter can spread evenly around the pan. Then cover and let it cook on a medium heat. Once you get to see the bubbles are coming out, open the lid and flip the cake on the other side and let it cook again for at least 30 seconds to 1 minute. After one minute, your cake is ready and well baked on both sides. Place on a baking sheet and roll it immediately before it cools down. Once you're done rolling the cake, twist the two ends to avoid any air escaping out. This helps to make your cake more softer. Then afterwards, place aside for at least 10 minutes to cool down completely.
Repeat the same process with the cocoa butter as you can see in the video step by step. Make sure when your cake is baking, it's really important to cover the cake with a lid so that the cake doesn't get dry. Once you're done baking it, place on a baking sheet, unfold it immediately and place aside for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, my Swiss roll cakes have cooled down completely. Open one at a time and unfold it slowly by slowly to avoid the cake from breaking. On my chocolate Swiss roll cake, I'm going to add some whipping cream. On the other vanilla Swiss roll cake, I'm going to add some Nutella chocolates. Apply a small amount of whipping cream and spread it around the cake. Unfold the cake slowly, then afterwards secure it by folding the baking sheet on top and twist on both sides and place on a fridge for at least 2 hours before serving it. Finally, after 2 hours, my Swiss roll cakes are ready. I'll open one at a time so you can able to see how soft and the inside of the Swiss roll cake looks. Oh my god, look how soft this visual cake looks. This is so, so tasty. Lastly, my vanilla visual cake, I'm going to decorate it with icing sugar. And my chocolate visual cake, I'm going to decorate it with cocoa powder. And my tasty, soft visual cake are ready and serve on a plate. And my soft chocolate cake and vanilla Swiss roll are ready as you can see in the video. Serve with a cup of tea or milk and enjoy your Swiss roll cake. Thank you for watching my video and hope you loved it. And if you want to see other recipes, I'll put the links in the description box. And if you have any questions, you can comment down below or you can follow me on my Instagram for further questions. And thank you once again. Bye-bye.